who have a keen eye to see the little things, open cuts, never really resolved, verbal abrasions down to a microscopic level, forgoing the facade of fake smiles to see what's really going on inside, then I appreciate you. For the warmth of your concern and embrace as the angle of our faces create the tightest parallel lines between our lips and our eyes. Perpendicular though, to, <laughs> perpendicular though to the line that is never crossed. But a kiss that is felt on your fingertips as you gently place them on my back. Holding close the possibilities of nothingness and everything. Like clay in the hands of a child and now I sit here simmering. My mind marinating in simple methods. Comfort food. Comfort wounds. Men. I appreciate you. I appreciate those of you who are organ donors, sacrificially giving of your heart so that I may feel complete, transfusing your blood with mine with every beat of sincerity. You bleed, breathing a breath of life with every healing word you speak, filling in the gap for a man who always took my breath away, but you have no doubt patterned yourself, though, after a real man, the son of man that bleeds and breathes so deeply that he reaches down to the pit of my soul and both snatches and cradles me up to the level of his wholeness. I appreciate him. I appreciate him in you. Men, I appreciate you. And for father's kisses on the neck. Face to face, I love using the nights, which in regard to frequency and consistency had gone missing for 10 years. Now become the neural spawn for sore subjects and misunderstandings that stand under the miscommunication of torn marriages by divorces. But you have no doubt thought of me. You did not divorce me. I realize that now. And I appreciate you for that. Fathers, men,